Hi guys, this is Ian and this is my 3D printing update. I'm going to try and make these updates uh, weekly now and the, the idea being that they'll be a little bit shorter that way and uh, I'll be able to get more content out there I guess. Um, try and keep that drum beat and obviously I'll also be doing um, project videos and uh, videos on uh, any kind of filament that I, I want to showcase or printers that I want to showcase that sort of thing so getting on to it uh, again been a, another busy week I guess uh, plenty of things going on on all of the printers and I finally managed to send the box off to Joe for his mural so hopefully we'll be getting that in the next kind of week or two as I say there's been lots of printing going on this week so um, let's get into it so uh, first and probably foremost for me is that I've I've kind of kick-started my uh, Galactic British Empire playset and uh, one of the key things that I want to do this time is make sure that the models all print at 50% scale and then th therefore fit on uh, the standard types of print printers, the Prusa kind of build uh, volume, that sort of thing. So this is one of the ones, there's actually a piece of um, glass missing out the front of it I guess you'd say. Um, as with again another theme that I'm hoping to carry through with most of the uh, the new playset models is that they will be um, multi-part. I do like the the idea of getting different colours into the the models by making them uh, multi-part and you know, literally print print them and stick them together. So here is um, a hanger, funnily enough, and the the idea being that you can either use it open so that it'll fit a little plane in it and closed so it just looks there. As with all of my uh, Galactic British Empire playset models the the initial prints and the the you know what, what they're targeted for from a colour wise is all based on the filamentum range so this is filamentum concrete grey, uh, filamentum iron grey and then filamentum Iceland blue for the uh, for the glass domes if you like. So as I say there's also a filamentum Iceland blue glass pieces that goes in there but it needs a glue in before it so it'll stay um, so that will be coming soon and there's there's more of those on the way so I, I want to kind of kickstart a new wave of the Galactic British Empire playset I will probably um, wait until I've got a few models ready to release them all at once so what else have we, so what else have I been doing this week well it's been Wavy Wednesday, so uh, I got involved in, in this mainly Fernando Jerez Wavy Bowl models uh, initially and then we saw, uh, for the second week we saw Wavy Cups which was quite interesting, so a bit of Wavy Bowls. This incidentally is in the Zyro Bronze PLA which I really like, I'm really, for some reason Bronze is just appealing to me at the moment, I really like it, so that's the uh, the wavy bowl from Fernando Jerez. The, I also did in the bronze because it's like it. That's my Yav bowl. So yet another vase, but chopped off to make it into a bowl. And uh, again, really like that colour. So while I was at it, they uh, obviously had to print a 200% real book Tommy because that's what I do. And it came out really nice. And again, the material just really, really is nice. Uh, definitely like bronze. Bronze is. Uh, something that I might start collecting uh, different colours of. So also, as I said, the second kind of week of Wavy Wednesday was cups, and these are the cups. This is in filamentum. Everybody's magenta, and I think is a really nice, really nice print. Turned off really well. Uh, and while I was printing with everybody's magenta, uh, I did decided to do a test print on this. This is just something I, I played with a while back and, and this is really scaled down so you lose some of the effect on it but you do almost get like a brickwork pattern on there so again quite like that. And then similarly I managed to get hold of this week um, the Chroma Sulfur which really probably won't do justice on the camera but it is properly glorious yellow this is from MVO engineering and as you can see once again maybe Wednesday cup 
and 200% Robot Tommy. And again, both of them really nice, and I, um, I really love the uh, the colour on that. I'm also working on a big multi-part project that um, I don't want to show yet, but uh, but that is is predominantly being printed on the Ender 3. Um, incidentally, the um, the Galactic British Empire hangar was printed on the Ender 3 as well. Um, uh, so far, I've been really impressed with it. It's uh, it's a great machine, and for the money, uh, ridiculous. So yeah, so there's a, a project going on there, but uh, I'll I'll talk about that one maybe in a in a week or two. And uh, the last thing that uh, I've been working on this week, uh, anybody that follows my Instagram will have uh, probably seen this. And this is my muscle car, but it's the the Tom Special Edition, which in actual fact, when I did the launch, when I did the video, I never printed one. A couple of other people printed them, uh, funnily enough, including Tom Jackson. And these, um, there was the slight changes on this were all suggestions from Tom. Um, so they, uh, in total, there's, let me think, there's stripes were actually broader. Um, add a spoiler on the back and make the rear wheels or the rear tyres fatter again. So all those things are kind of incorporated into the model. So um, as I say, this will be the first time I've, I've printed one out and uh, I just wanted to, to do that. What I decided to do with this was um, actually print each of the um, individual colours in a different brand of filament, um, which obviously because I have so much filamentum um, makes life a little bit difficult for me. But, uh, you know, I, I, um, it's interesting. I've got an awful lot of filament that uh, I want to use up. And to make a bit more space to well buy more filament obviously so um, uh, this seemed like a, a, a fun little project for me to do with one of my existing models and just um, finish it off because I'd, ne I'd never actually pr printed this uh, obviously the immediate thing while I'm while I'm doing that on and printing it is I'm thinking well I need to make a mark two of these so that will probably be coming soon as well so just finished literally just finished while I'm, I'm recording this video on the Prusa was the the grill that will go into here into the car and this is the grill is in Prusa silver so just trying to, to run through what we've got. We've got Spanahan's Fire Red, which is a really nice red PLA uh, for the, which is kind of, I guess it's the uh, the anchor filament for this because it's the uh, the main body. You've got uh, 3D Printworks Snow White filament for the stripes and for the spoiler. I've got filamentive RPLA Black for all of the black bits, which is the dashboard, the seats, and the little axle pieces. I've got, this is a, a no-name generic clear PLA that came free with a, a printer, one of my printers. Um, no branding on it as such. And just a clear PLA. And then the wheel hubs uh, are printed in Prusa Silver. So there's wheel hubs and then obviously the um, the grill, as I say, was also printed in that. So my, my idea is that uh, all of the individual colours will be a different filament brand. So we're doing that. What what I have decided is that black tyres are a different colour to black other bits, basically because I'm going to use Filamentum uh, Flexfill 98A to print the tyres. So hopefully um, there's just, I think, just backlights, which I need to scratch my head on decide what colour I'm actually going to do those. Um, just the back lights and the tyres to print now and, and that'll be uh, that'll be done. Okay so if you've made it this far I really do appreciate you watching. Um, thanks a lot for uh, for sticking with me and uh, if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of this content then please hit the subscribe I really would appreciate it. Okay thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time.